Let's talk about body language. There's, As the boss, your body language can send a message to the entire staff. Your body language says everything. How you sit. Do I cross my legs? Do I not cross my legs? Do I cross my arms? Do I sit back? Do I sit forward? I got to tell you, so often people don't think about that, and it's so important. If somebody's talking to you and you're interested, lean forward. Think about what you're doing with your hands. Do you want to lean back? Lean back. Think about what they're doing as you're doing it because you want to think about how you're relating to the customer. So if they're casual, you want to be casual. If they're not, you want to be formal. You want to think about not how, and it's interesting because the way I train myself is don't think about how you feel. Think about the message you're sending. Because typically everyone knows, you know if you're sitting back, you're sending a certain message. If you're sitting forward, you're sending a message. Mm -hmm. If you're turning, if your eyes up. It, it, people often think about it in terms of their own impression versus the message. The other thing is eye contact is key. Eye contact is everything. People will say, if you're not interested, you're looking over my shoulder, you're looking at the piece of paper. Eye contact is everything. And I would also say hand gestures are important. People think that it's goofy to be talking with your hands. It, 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 it speaks to a level of enthusiasm, excitement, engagement, and interest. Well, there's also if a, you're in, a, if you're a natural talking level that to it because that's the way you communicate. It, and it, it, but it opens you up. It breaks down barriers. See, it's, it's so often if I, that people create barriers with their body. They do certain things. You want to be able to create a message whereby people are comfortable with how you're doing it. And you want to be, if you want to be formal, be formal.